Hello guys, my name is Kuliyoshi, and Casey already knows we're in the middle of Bowser's Fury mode, but yeah, we're playing uh, Bowser's Fury 100% blind, blind playthrough, and in the last episode, we nearly finished off everything, but weren't able to finish it. This will probably end up being the finale now, because yeah, things have happened, and yeah, we're going to defeat Bowser again if we can. We may end up having to wait a little bit, though, because we did not get a good cycle for Fury Mode, so we'll see. Um, if it ends up going to that, I'll probably just trade the Fury Mode myself, but I found out where my secret things that were missing that I didn't see about the last time. And from there, um, yeah, I'm kind of just doing stuff and hoping for the best. We're in the middle of a fury mode right now. Bowser's trying to unleash his fury uh, right now. He's definitely making things intense for me. So from what I found, there's actually a very, very, very sneaky hidden invisible platform underneath the level that you do not see normally. And the only way to find it is to uh, basically go around and die. Wait, well, not necessarily like that, but sort of, uh, um, the, uh, basically what I found is this is one of the sneakiest cat shards ever posted in the video game. And from what I found, the only way to reliably get it is to use the Toki power up and look the right to see where the spot might be and there's not a good spot to see it too because normally it'd be like oh there's a cat shard somewhere else what it could be the only way to find this that I know of is to go to the right and from the left and I had to look at this quite a bit to make sure I found out but here you see that uh, just kind of hidden in the middle between there yeah, that's where the cat shard is. It's one of the most bullcrap things ever done. Like, I'm not sure why the designers did that, but it was pretty annoying. Like, it's probably one of the stealthiest cat shard locations there. And I honestly wouldn't be surprised if that has kept people for 100% in the game. Because that is in, I could be one of the worst spots in a place where you probably would normally not even go there. With that in mind, I'll show you how I'm going to get it. We're just going to ignore everything. Jump on there. And we will get our uh, cat shine using this. And we should land on an invisible platform. So, assuming it's a good one or not, we'll either land on the invisible platform or fall into the lava. One of the two. Uh, obviously, because we have the warp, we don't have to do the diff, so... We're just gonna warp out, and that should finish the last part. Now for the final of this part, we have to get some stuff. Since we are going to fight Bezer soon, we may as well take the upgraded crap suit just to be prepared for it. And from there, we're just trying to finish this before Bowser's Fury Mode activates. And if Fury Mode is not activated, I'm gonna actually pause the video to tear it. Just because I uh, do stuff. And I will pay attention to what happens here this time. Because I want to see what happens when you get all 100 cat shines. So anyways. This one's a lot more straightforward than I was expecting actually. I did not think of it initially. So that uh, finishes off the final cat shine. And I think this will actually trigger it for cherry. Congratulations. You've collected all the cat shines. A message is now ringing out for the Gigabell. You are ready. Go cleanse the beast of its fury with the full power of the cat shines. Oh, okay, yeah. Just as I thought. So it's gonna immediately trigger uh, fury mode for us. Alright, so that saves a little bit of time. So, time for the actual final battle of the game. The first one was a joke. Now we're gonna actually uh, deal with him. And he looks... As white hair this time, so this might feel a little bit different, but it's probably going to be very straightforward. Again, we have infinite power, so I'm not too worried about it, at least until the second phase where things might get a little bit bad. But considering what this game has done, I'm sure the foul battle probably won't be any easier. So anyways, 
We are now on the true final boss of the game, and sure enough, Bowser, uh, restored all of his HP, so he's not making things easier. Kind of interesting that just by doing this, he's, uh, changed the way his form works. So, to start, we have to take out his main Fury form, which is the final of the fights that we'll be doing in full cat form. He's going to do three of these, so we have to move away from a little bit more. And it takes quite a few hits this time to drive him off. So yeah, we are now into the final boss of the game. Bowser uh, True Form is what I'm going to nickname him. Or you could call him the White Bowser as well, because he has white hair in this, which means he's a little bit tougher. Kind of nice that they uh, changed it up just a little bit so it wouldn't be extremely easy, so... Definitely takes a while to take him out. Based off of what we have right now, it's gonna take either three hits or a couple of other things to do that. So we're obviously gonna try and um, knock him back as much as we can and try and use our pops to do extra damage to him. Don't have the trick ray. Now the trick I was trying to do on this particular attack, I'm not going to do right now, but I believe you can hit him from the back side using the claw so I power up if you go in the right spot, but it's kind of tough to get. Okay, that's main hit number one. Okay, that time he just knocked me back. I'm kind of surprised that eyes that when he did that, uh, things happened that were really weird. Not getting the best RNG because he can choose to jump or go for a side attack here, and he's not giving us what we want him to do. Okay, well, I think I found what that was. If we go too close to him, that'll trigger the fade, so we have to adjust in range to be able to swipe him, otherwise uh, the thing won't work. But that's fine, because again, the bells will give us essentially infinite power-up refills. The only problem I see myself having is at the end where we face Bowser without his full blackness on. So, yeah. I'm just gonna wait for an attack cycle, and from the looks of it, he's giving us the easy mode. Oh! Wow, he's giving us both of the things at the same time. That could be bad, because uh, we still have this thing here to use, but it's not in the right spot, so yeah. Had he given us a little bit later, that might have done something to us. Okay, we'll take the knot back, and from there we need one more hit to defeat him. All right. There's our quit hit that we were looking for, but not fully quit hit because it's all the way in the oil, which will take a little while, but we defeated the fire phase. We'll skip this because I don't want to take too long. And, uh... I won't skip the second spot because uh, it would be kind of silly to skip this. And Big Bowser has returned once again. Still angry as per usual. Now we have to make him come to his senses. So once again, he's going to steal our cat bell power-ups. Will he actually take them this time, though? Just trapping them again. He really does not want us to have those cat pubs. And now for Plessy the fight, because that's essentially what this is. This is essentially, you may as well call this an auto score because uh, 
It seems like no matter what you do here, you will get effectively the same things all the time. The only way this could potentially be speed up is maybe uh, taking damage might slow down it, so maybe try not to take damage without, but other than that, I don't know anything else. Regardless, he's gonna run away quite a bit, so we'll have to wait for him to roar at the very least before we can do anything. Oh, we missed it. Okay, yeah, I guess I forgot. That's a spot where I can lose time just randomly. If he choose not to jump, uh, yeah, that's kind of bad. Cool. It'd be really nice to play this fight without taking any damage, but I'm not sure if that could happen at the moment. Okay, this time we got him once, which is good. We'll start by removing all the power-ups that we don't need, like our stuff, and maybe start burning our mushrooms a little bit more. Because I always forget we have mushrooms and we're not burning them enough. Okay, so he does change up his pattern a little bit in the foul face by trying to make his ever attacks more intense, so it's definitely not easy by any means. And he gave us an hour hit, which is nice. Cool. I'm pretty sure this is psycho based, meaning he has to jump away a certain amount of times before he will give you a hit, and in addition to that, it's random whether or not I'll even give you a hit at all, so it's either that or he'll take at least two full cycles to do that, and the most important thing I need to remember is gotta keep on getting those power-ups. If I, uh, die at any point, uh, I probably will have to restart the level again, and I do not want that right now. But we finished him off, so it's fine. I don't think Bowser Jr. even had time to throw the power up to him. So Plessy once again becomes a uh, big cat Plessy with Mario becoming a big cat as well. And Bowser's gone again. That should be the good ending right there. So now we're actually done with the game proper. Sorry if this one will end up being a little bit quicker, but that's just the idea that happens. Based off of what happened, this game was actually pretty quick, and I actually thought it seemed like a speedrun almost, or at least I was playing a little bit faster. I know this won't be like a World Wire type or something, but I definitely think I took this game speedrunning to a whole nother level. With the exception of obviously not skipping the cutscenes, it was actually surprisingly quick. Because I did watch a couple of playthroughs, uh, one guy completed 100%, it was a little bit earlier. Uh, he took six hours to beat the game, and from what I've seen, I think I finished the game in about... 4.10 for 100%, so that means I have uh, managed to finish the game faster than him. I'm not trying to be mean or anything, but what that says is I think I did really good for a first time. This might actually be one of the more impressive playthroughs on YouTube, because we hardly died at all. We 
only took damage at a couple spots, and we didn't die in any of the foul fights. Then again, those fights were pretty easy. Like, if you want to compare foul Bowser fights, uh, Bowser, uh, Mario Galaxy probably has much more tougher Bowser fights. Especially in Mar Mario 64. The first time I faced Bowser in Super Mario 64, I think I actually lost a couple times, because... That is one of the trolliest fights ever, to both uh, beat normally and to beat uh, fast. Arguably one of the hardest Bowser fights ever. Or in Galaxy, which is also kind of annoying. But yeah, with that in mind, uh, we are basically done with the game. And I guess now that we've done it, um, I will say right now that I've already finished part of my Super Mario 3D World playthrough. Um, I've actually set it up to where I can finish the game, so what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to set up to make sure that I can finish that. Um, we're going to do a bonus episode for Super Mario 3D World. That's next because I mentioned that the game's not fully 100%. To 100% Mario 3D World, you have to beat all the levels with all five characters, and I was able to do that, of course, using a trick where I... Uh, beat levels with more than one character at a time. You can essentially, um, I'll kind of explain more later, but there's a check that allows you to count the level as finishing it with four characters without actually needing to have the players up. It's actually a pretty straightforward setup. Use two controllers, one to pick up one character, one to pick up the other, and then you just kind of go from there. And if I were to guess the reason why I think I wasn't able to pick characters like Yoshi or stuff, the reason why I fought that is I think that was actually not a reveal for this game. I think that was actually uh, something that was intended to happen in Super Mario Party. So that means uh, maybe it was a, a thing that was going to happen in Super Mario Party 2. So now I think of it, I think that... I think what I, the game they were trying to talk about was probably Super Mario Party 2. That's about it. And there we see the black uh, paint has been flipped off to reveal that Bowser Jr. me at a fun time. And from there, we can choose whether or not we can go into the game or not. I'm not going to do much. I would then probably just trigger this. I don't know if it'll permanently be in Fury mode or not. Yeah, okay, it's just the same. So, leave a like if you guys enjoyed that. Cut, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Or I guess next pray for in this case. Goodbye.